Hey everybody, uh, Corey Goldberg here for Canon India. Just wanted to take a quick brief minute of your time to show you just how remarkable this Canon R5 is and the raw files, the information that is retained in these raw files really has just blown my mind. Um, I just did a shoot not too long ago and I was just going through some of the images and I wanted to show you this one in particular here. Um, it's an all right image, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's decent, uh, it seems reasonably well lit. When you zoom in on it, you might notice that there is a little bit of noise, particularly in the black areas, some grainy patches here, but, you know, for the most part, it's not too bad. And this is, again, um, without any kind of <clears throat> noise software, uh, noise reduction software, anything like that. Uh, my settings are 250 ISO, which you might be wondering why it's a little grainy at 250 ISO, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, four or five uh, aperture and a hundredth of a second. Also the fact that you can hand hold at a hundredth of a second and still have this degree of, um, of sharpness is still pretty remarkable as well, but that's not even what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about the fact is that this image is a misfire, right? So there, I was working with the strobe here. It didn't fire on this particular shot. So what this image looks like straight out of the camera is actually that. That is what the image looks like with no flash where they were supposed to be. So what I was showing you was an image that looks completely dark, completely unusable. I mean, it was a, a, I shot it in raw, um, but all you really have to do is just use the slider in Lightroom to bring it back to this degree of brightness, which I think, you know, is for most purposes acceptable. Obviously, you're not going to, you know, use this image on a billboard or on the cover of a magazine, but um, I was just blown away by the amount of detail that is still um, usable in a R5 raw file and even zoomed in how it's still pretty sharp and pretty clear and pretty detailed. And again, this is not using any kind of um, noise reduction software. I'm sure, you know, a talented retoucher or editor could do wonders with this image and you basically didn't even need any flash at all. So I'm wondering if I even need to keep on using flash at this point. Anyway, just wanted to quickly show you this and um, hope this has been helpful and um, happy shooting, everybody. Speak to you soon. Bye.